Well, that was uh, weird. Last afternoon, I took the Rapid 171 train from Bangkok all the way to Hennigan. Backtracking a little bit on my night train. And now I'm stuck somewhere a few hours out of Bangkok. I've never been here. And last night I had a good night's uh, sleep after a decent meal. Now it's time to peek at the beach, find some breakfast, and in a few hours' time, just before 3 in the afternoon, I'll be taking the train back to Bangkok again. 9 in the morning, so I guess most people are still fast asleep. Not me. That's what you get when you get the into bed relatively early. It looks like a mini Bali with all the tourist shops here. Only difference here is there aren't eternal traffic jams, which is of course really nice. I haven't seen the beach here yet. It was really dark when I arrived yesterday. Um, of course, when I go to the beach, there are no blue skies, but um, Let's have a quick look around. Okay, the beach is white. Okay, okay. Neat. That's an early one for beer. Is it a really nice beach? <laughs> Not really. I guess this is the place where you get a beer in the afternoon. Like I said, it's nine in the morning. Well, that was uh, weird. The vibe here is that there is no vibe. Um, that's it, uh, that's enough beach. Let's head into town. Get myself a breakfast. Spend some time hanging around before it's time to walk back to the train station. What they are selling here is the same crappy stuff you'll find at any tourist destination in the world. This, this looks, looks like Bali. Same hats, same straw hats, same shirts, glasses, things you don't really need. People aren't really early here, mainly because there's a lot of elderly and people hanging around at the night bars. It is also a Sunday today, so most likely the party was a wild one last night. I slept early, even though my hotel was right in one of the alleys with the beer, booze and fresh meats. I was just too tired to go out and purposely sit somewhere after my dinner and a single beer. So then. A lot of shops are, aren't open yet, even the massage parlors are closed. And before you know you're walking out of the tourist area here. Contrary to the resort island of Bali, not too many places are open for breakfast here. And those that say that are open have their doors closed and lights out. Not really sure what's happening. Of course you can uh, grab a beer somewhere. I think that's uh, not a very smart thing to do actually. But, uh, A little bit disappointing, but uh, oh well. I didn't really know what to expect because I added this still pretty recently and uh, just ended up here basically. Here it says breakfast. Let's see if it's open. It does look open. Let's have a quick look. Oh. Morning. Breakfast for one? Okay, that's pretty decent. Guess that's someone's home. 
or restaurant, I'm not really sure. Looks pretty nice, so uh, on stilts, some fishing boats. And right over there is a Chinese temple and the wide open views of the Gulf of Thailand and the omnipresent Hilton Hotel, the only proper high rise in Hua Hin. That's the restaurant I was earlier and this is the Chinese temple we saw earlier. That is a pretty neat sight to have a temple. We are at the far end of the main pier of Hua Hin, I guess. Um, there is a nice breeze here, so it's pretty neat to... Sorry, I saw a bird fly sideways there for a bit. I think it's a nice place to hang out, but it's scorching hot. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock here in the afternoon. Not the right time to be here, I guess, but uh, let's have a quick look what's uh, around us. We have the amazing Holiday Inn piece of concrete right over there. I had my breakfast somewhere there because the Chinese, tem the Chinese temple is over there. Not too much to see here. A little bit of white beach. And I guess that's the ray dome of the airport where the train runs under the runway, the far end from here. There are some fishermen hanging around preparing the catch for the day. And of course the kids are spending their Sunday afternoon here. They sell beer here. I guess that's uh, later today. I saw these stalls were open last night, but I didn't walk over because I was pretty tired after 20 plus hours of train, so I didn't get out again. Yeah, I'll make it back for a cup of coffee and uh, see you guys uh, soon.